So on the trailer to this movie, it says James Cameron presents. Why they gotta lie? Sanctum. Ultimately, it should read James Cameron's cameras present. Which, oh good, it's not like we haven't seen it like 150 times this year. Yeah, this year, 2011. So all in all, underneath all the layers, Sanctum's pretty much a disaster movie. Yes, when you have a movie in which people need to survive the elements, earth, fire, wind, or water, it's a disaster movie. I don't care if it takes place in a cave. So in this particular disaster movie, there's a group that's exploring these underground caves, and then it starts raining in the underground rivers, they start overflowing, the place starts flooding, and now we have our survival disaster movie. Now I will say that, of all the 3D movies I've seen, this is the one that I'll say, if you're gonna see the movie, you see it in 3D. Whether or not it's worth the price, different story. The movie's pretty much a 3D showcase, and the shots look really cool. Like, there's scenes where they're rappelling or parachuting down into the hole in the ground. It's like, it looks like a big sarlacc pit or something, without the beak. And it looks really awesome, which is really funny, because National Geographic in the movie is supposedly there to document their findings or whatever. And I was just thinking, I would rather watch that. I'd rather watch National Geographic presents a 3D movie or video on underground caves. That would be sweet. But instead, we get disaster movie. So the basic concept is, after everything starts flooding, the entrance is blocked so they have to press on into the cave into uncharted territories and hope it comes out the other side. Think of it like an MMO. You have to go into that new zone that you don't know anything about and just imagine your life depends on it. It's kind of like Poseidon. It reminded me of Poseidon in a cave with worse actors and crappier characters. Like they have Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four. Maybe I'm just slow on the pickup but I had never really noticed how crappy of an actor the guy actually is. In fact when characters start dying you don't care about any of them at all. You're like all right they're dead. One less person I have to worry about. There is one character I thought was cool and he's your basic really hardcore experienced guy who's like this is life and death this cave can kill you in a heartbeat but no matter how many times he says it it's almost like the characters really don't grasp that their lives hang in the balance they're just like all right yeah let's just get through the cave yeah nothing it's like six flags waterworks but more fun and the editing was really weird like there's this one part where they have to get across this big hole. And then disaster hits, so half the group is here and half the group's there, and they're divided by this huge hole. In the next scene, they're all together, just hanging out. I guess they got across. I, I like the concept of the movie, I like the scenery, but it's like the movie was written by a guy who does a lot of cave diving, so he's heard a lot of stories, probably seen a couple things, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna make a movie about this. It can only be written right by a guy who's been there, or at least heard from a guy who knows a guy who's been there. And so now we have this movie. There were no really cool scenes in the movie that really stood out to me. The one scene, the coolest scene in the movie was actually in the trailer. See where the dude's underwater Water and he's like breathing in the bubbles that are on the ceiling. Yeah, they shouldn't have showed that. At all. That was like the Dark Knight trailer showing the magic trick. So on the basis or assumption that if you're hammered, you can at least laugh at the acting or throw up because of the 3D, this movie might be a good time if you're drunk. Yeah, no, this is a party. The 3D makes the movie, but it didn't make the movie good. If you didn't like Poseidon, don't watch this. Maybe we'll have better luck with The Roommate. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.